back to Trigger King RCTV. It's event number four, bracket number seven of the 2024 racing season. As we're going sport mod racing, representing sort of that middle 90s era of monster trucks where they ran fast and they ran straight down the track, Penda style typically, but we're adding some turns and some excitement into the racing as we take a look at the top three in qualifying with Black Pearl as our top qualifier. Moving on into round number one, Snakebite and Orange Thunder are on the line. 16 and 17 position in qualifying, charging to the finish line and neck and neck just like 16 and 17 should be. Orange Thunder takes the win by penalty, a two wheel infraction on Snakebite. West Virginia Mountaineer, Dana Gosh in the near lane and Aquabats, Isaac Ankrum in the near lane. Aquabats the eight qualifier, Cheech way down in the 25th position with Mountaineer and it's just not going to be his day as Aquabats takes the measure in round number one. Cheech right back up on the line with his Predator truck, an awesome looking new truck for this season, up against Austin 316. We'd expect no other from Josh Rhodes, big Stone Cold fan, so rocking the Austin 316 and rocking the victory. As you can see, we're flying through the bracket on this quick G-shaped track. On the line now, it's Chris Hackinson and El Toro Zombie and Gravedigger Greg Coffey, one of the newcomers on the circuit. He's trying to make a name for himself, get some track time, but he's gonna go down to the Zombie in round number one. The Batman. Troy Haas all the way out of Colorado with that awesome looking Batman truck facing off against JB Scale Graphics with Chris Lane in the far lane lane with some issues in the final corner and the Batman takes the win. Number five, Chain Reaction Iron Aaron James facing off against Troy Haas in his awesome Kong truck. Troy was just on the line in the same lane but Aaron Janes and Chain Reaction will win this round. Now Janes is back to back as he brings out his Roadhog swapping lanes. He had lane choice in both pairings here, but choosing to swap lanes as he faces off against Fred Kors and the Punisher. Oh, and maybe he should have stuck with the other lane as the Punisher, Fred Kors, takes the win. Unusually low down the bracket, Bob C. Chandler and Bigfoot Xbox, the number 15 qualifier and the number 18 Orange Fury 2 Chris Blank. But the Xbox has control and moves to round number two. Chris Hackinson, we saw him a second ago with El Toro Zombie, back out with Pink Alicious, El Toro Loco Pink against Chris Parrish and Equalizer. Wow, a hard charge to the finish line, not a pretty run, but the great charge to the finish gets it done for Equalizer. The number 26 qualifier, the points leader way down in the bracket. Number 10, Taurus Jeremy Mark. And Monster Patrol, Mike Bufka, the incredible Mintz replica, sporting no wing this time as Taurus is all tied up. The Battle of the Wilman chassis goes to Monster Patrol. King Kong Chris Lane, the number 14, facing off against Fred Kors and Sudden Impact, the number 19 qualifier. This could be a solid race. Kors new to the series this season. Lane back after an absence and he's been looking strong. Both drivers charging to the finish line and Sudden Impact gets it done. 
Number six, barefoot racer Chris Parrish and TMNT Andy Salerno, the awesome looking Michelangelo bodied monster truck in the far lane. Oh, Parrish in trouble. Oh, but recovered. Wow, not a clean race by either competitor, but Barefoot Racer moves to round number two. Michael Spurlock, the Iron Outlaw in the near lane, in Big A's wrecking, Andy Salerno, and then, wow, do you see that wheelie over the first obstacle? It was wild, but it cost him. He's trying to recover. He got it back on the wheels, but nothing doing. Too much Iron Outlaw. Round one went quickly. We're on to round number two, and this is our first sighting of our fast qualifier, Black Pearl, Josh Rhodes, facing off against Orange Thunder two, the number 16 qualifier, Chris Blank. Rhodes gets it done in his first round of action with Black Pearl. A number eight, nine matchup. Aquabats, Isaac Angram and Austin 316, Josh Rhodes. Rhodes back to back. Angram in trouble in the far lane, two wheeling one of the obstacles. But Austin gets to the finish line first anyway, so that'll set up a Josh Rhodes matchup in round number three. We'll see how that goes. El Toro Zombie facing off against the Batman. Zombie high up in the points and gaining some more critical points as we head towards the season finale coming up soon. Only a few brackets of racing left. Chain reaction, Iron Aaron James and the Punisher, Fred Kurz. James back in the lane that he won in in round number one. Not completely smooth, but getting the job done and Punishing the Punisher. Jeremy Mark, the number two qualifier with the Buffalo Trimmer. He's had some issues with this truck this season, but he's looking good here today. A high qualifying spot, but he's got a tough matchup against Xbox Bigfoot, Bob C. Chandler. Oh, neck and neck to the final obstacle. Trimmer out of shape and Xbox Bigfoot sneaks the victory. A number 26, 23 matchup in round number two. Equalizer, Chris Parrish and Monster Patrol, Mike Bufka. Oh, Bufka, a little too much power in the first turn. Parrish with a little bit of a kick hitting the car stack in the final set but no penalty, wow. he takes the win. Destination, Bob C. Chandler on the line. Sudden impact in the near lane, some issues. All Chandler has to do is get to the finish line and he does. Our final pair in round number two. This should be a good matchup. The 611 matchup, Barefoot Racer and Iron Outlaw. These two guys have had some strong races so far this season. Barefoot off to the lead, but a big mistake. Oh, wow, that was nearly costly. Iron Outlaw charging, but Barefoot barely getting it done. Moving into round number three, it just feels like we're flying through this bracket. It's El Toro Loco Zombie and Chain Reaction, a 4-5 matchup. Jane's won in the blue lane in the prior two rounds. Will that affect him? Hackinson with a, a good home in that blue lane. Who's got the advantage? Right now it looks like Hackinson, the zombie bull getting it done. Equalizer, Chris Parrish, and Xbox Bigfoot. This should be one heck of a race. Chandler hung up on the turn car. These two, it's an epic battle every time out, but this time it goes to the Equalizer. They're right back up on the line. Chandler and Parrish swapping trucks. Same lanes, Destination versus Barefoot Racer. Ah! 
and showing the tit for tat nature of this rivalry Chandler takes that one and the Black Pearl defeats Austin 316 as Josh Rhodes has two of his trucks face each other so we had to choose which one will move on and here it is the semifinals Black Pearl the number one qualifier and the number four qualifier Chris Hackinson and El Toro Zombie Watch the light. El Toro Zombie knocking off the number one qualifier and moving into the finals. Who will he face? The number three, Destination Bigfoot, or the number 26, Equalizer, coming from way down in the bracket. Oh, Parrish in trouble. Trying to recover, still neck and neck to the finish line. But by about two truck lengths, Destination gets it done and moves to the finals, setting up a number three, number four matchup. Destination number three and number four, El Toro Loco Zombie. Chris Hackinson in the near lane, Bob C. Chandler in the far lane. Hackinson, a relative newcomer to Trigger King. This could be a big feather in his hat to knock off Chandler and take the bracket. Chandler in trouble. Wow. Definitely going to the TK replay on that one. Neck and neck heading to the final corner. Chandler with a little bit of a lead. But awkward between the obstacles. Oh my goodness, Chandler heading off towards the tabletop. Zombie charging, and right there you see it, I think. I think he flew past him in the air, and Zombie got it done. Waiting for the official word to come down, and it's El Toro Zombie with the win by about half a tire as he flies by at the finish line. El Toro Zombie and Bigfoot Destination sitting second and third with Equalizer atop the heap as we've got three Sport Mod brackets left. This one's not over yet. This could be an exciting conclusion to this season as we follow Sport Mod action. Stay tuned. Join us next time for bracket number two from event number four. And thanks for joining us. We'll catch you next time.